Greetings everyone and welcome back. Last time I gave you a sneak preview of this. And this time we're gonna do it. So let's start the episode off with a bang. Or a drop attack. Whatever. Now don't miss that second uh, execution there because the snake will eat you. Delicious. So yeah, that's the uh, serpent boss fight. It's not really a fight, is it? But it does look epic. It is pretty frightening, so I'll give it that. Now, to my knowledge, you can't actually make it back over here once the serpent's gone, so those items are essentially gone if you don't grab them this time. Anyways, um, we do have something to do over here. So now that uh, I've killed the snake... Well, you know what? We'll get to that. But uh, there was a place over here that I mentioned, uh, I think, like two episodes ago. Where I said, yeah, we could go this way, but we don't really have what we need to do it yet. So let's go do that. And the thing that you actually need is, in fact, the, uh... Hi. Puppeteer Ninjutsu. Uh, let's see here. Can I even get down from here? Yes, I can. Ah. And it's right there. Perfect. So this is kind of a frightening area. But, I mean, I guess it's fine because we killed the snake already because it, it looks like the snake's den, right? Kind of. Also, those guys are kind of like straight out of Dark Souls 2, huh? They're kind of pointless. I'm not even going to bother killing them. I assume they probably drop something, but heck if I know what it is and I don't actually... What? Well, now. So, interestingly enough, there are, in fact, two snakes. By the way, this is probably common sense, but you don't actually want to uh, hit the snake. Come on, guys, calm down. Does, uh... Oh, right. I have the buff now. I was looking at my status bar and thinking, uh, I'm still poisoned? But I'm not. I just have the uh, poison resistance buff now. All right, so let's take a look then. Uh, there's that way, or there's that way. Yeah, I'm going to not go the way that has the giant snake, I think. And now here's the part where you have to use your puppeteer ninjutsu again. Rip, monkey. But to be fair, he probably would have done the same to us. 
All right, so we got the fresh serpent viscera. And now the dried serpent viscera. Pay attention to the fact that it said it's persimmon-like. That's going to be important. Those items are uh, necessary for the return ending, which is the, the one that I'm working towards right now. Alright. Now there's actually some other pretty cool stuff that we can do with the Puppeteer Ninjutsu. In fact, anytime that there is a mini boss fight that also has regular enemies in it, we can do something like this. Ah, oh, shoot. I thought I was going to be able to sneak that guy. Alright, we'll just kill him. So now I have my little minion basically murking Snake Eyes over here. <laughs> and I can just focus on uh, killing the guys normally. Or, I could puppeteer a second one! Haha! <laughs> that was a weird laugh, I'm sorry. I just get really excited when I do this. <laughs> so good. Remember what I said, though, about how uh, these guys will hit you as well? <laughs> What's funny, though, is if you have enough soul emblems, you can actually reset it, because they're not on health bar now, they're on a timer. Who's Snake Eyes now? Probably still you, but that guy's certainly in the running. Whoops. In my defense, it was very difficult to see. <laughs> oh, so good. Gonna be dead any minute now. Yep. Now I just have to fight it for real. Pretty great though, huh? And if you are having trouble with that mini boss, as I was the first time I did the game, um, that might be a good way to handle it. Alright, I should be able to get my last, uh, well not my last, but my last prayer bead for the set here. And then after that I guess we'll run right into a new boss fight. That should be entertaining. There's a uh, Sculptor's Idol up here, I'm trying to remember if I can even get to it from here. I don't think so, it's up there. So this upcoming boss fight, you will likely uh, look at it and go, wow, this is impossible. But it's not. It's not too bad. Well, I already killed a giant ape, and I killed little apes, so I'm sure we don't have to worry about apes anymore. But uh, just in case, it might be a good idea to come over here and uh, miss this wall jump, and then hit the wall jump. Uh, grab this. Hmm.
Wonderful. Alright, next boss is right around the corner. that, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Is this another guardian ape? Oh, you're back. However, remember what I said when we fought the guardian ape? How phase two is like infinitely easier than phase one? Especially when you just get hit for no reason. Like, I'll just stand here, deflect all these. Sometimes that one misses, though. Don't, uh... think that this is the entire fight, though. Because we do have, uh... two stages on the life bar, you may notice. So it's gonna get mixed up a little bit. Whoops. We're off to a really good start, though. Like, I'm actually getting hit on this, which is not a good start. You probably noticed, though, that the uh, health and posture of this ape are way lower than the other one. There's a reason for that. Yeah, that's the reason for that. Oh, whoops. However, this second ape has even less health and posture. And is easily taken out. Especially if you use the fireworks. I normally don't, but actually that's pretty dang efficient. What are we doing? But yeah, I definitely remember the first time doing this fight and thinking, wow, this is going to be basically impossible. However, because they each have, you know, their health and posture reduced quite a bit, it's not that big a deal. Man, this is going really poorly, though. This one's down. Apologies for that sloppy uh, fight, but whatever. It's basically over now. Basically over. Yeah, actually jump this time on the sweep attack. I tried to YOLO that. Usually not a good idea. sloppy, but I guess I got the job done. Alright. Got some time left, so we'll keep going. Let's grab uh, this one.
Oh, the phantom still appeared, actually. See what I mean when I say those guys can basically just be R1 spammed. As long as you have them in a corner, that is. I remember you. それがしはついに身もした。女の yeah, definitely sounds like you're not being bewitched, so that's good. Alright, so we got uh, sort of an interesting area coming up. Where are you? There you are. Sort of like the N64 woods in uh, Dark Souls 2, in that it's an area that has a lot of mist. Oh, mist. Ha, ah, no pun intended. Now what's pretty amusing about this next area is that you can actually skip the entire thing. Um, in fact, it's used in the speedrun. I will show... Well, I'm going to do everything anyway, so I'll probably go through the normal way, and then I'll jump back and show you how to do it the, uh, the cheaty way. So that'll be more fun. It might take me a couple tries because I'm not really practiced on doing it the uh, the cheaty way, but it's it's worth it because it's really funny. Uh, so, as we go through here, we will see lots of sort of spectral dudes that have been summoned. So, my advice would be just circle all the way around the side, and you're going to end up basically going that way. But uh, I think there's like an item over here we'll grab. Yep, definitely needed that. Although, keep in mind, uh, remember the Snap Seed actually damages like spectral enemies, so we could use it to kill the specters, but whatever. Anyways, we got some monkeys down there. Nope. So once again, we can use the uh, enemies to our advantage. Oh, I was like, what hit me? The monkey did. Dang guy. Remember what I said though, they're on a time limit, not a health limit. So as long as he's still alive, They'll just keep pummeling this dude. Whoops. I keep trying to grab the monkey instead of attacking.
Well, that was certainly of limited use, but I mean, it did get one health bar down, I guess. It's kind of funny. Ooh, that was close. I think the main difficulty in this guy comes from the fact that his attack timings are kind of odd sometimes. Whoops. Or when you just get grabbed by that. Crunch. But he's really not... I don't know. I don't feel like he's that bad. There is... Um, another version of that guy, though, that we'll be fighting that I think is pretty tough. But we'll get to that. Alright, so normally what you would do is you would circle around that way. You'd come over here. You'd get on top of this uh, pagoda. And then you'd go down there and kill the dude. However, there is a funny trick that, to my knowledge, still works. I don't think it's been patched yet. Where you can actually go just run over here. So obviously I can't reach it, right? I can't grapple onto it. But uh, you just sort of jump up here. Like I said, it might take me a couple tries because I'm not practiced at it. Oh. Okay, and then... <laughs> yeah, so the speedrun actually uses that. You just run, like, that right there is where we came from. So you just run, see there's the wall that we scaled. So you just run straight over here, you jump up there, you can totally skip that mini-boss fight. Now, when it comes to mini-boss fights, this is basically the toughest mini-boss, or even boss, in the entire game. So what you're going to want to do is definitely get the drop attack on him. I mean, he is so strong. Like, watch how hard this is. Insane, right? memes. So yeah, that's uh, Mist Noble. Even if you drop down and try to get him to kill you, it's like basically impossible. So he's just there because he was creating the mist. And what that means is that now we can run through here and gather all the items at our leisure. Which I will do. I do need to get to uh, upgrading some of my prosthetics, because I'm going to need them. At least, like, one or two of them, anyway. And I like one more item that I missed here. I guess I already grabbed it. Okay. Now there's another pretty amusing shortcut that you can do here. Uh, let me double check if there are any items that I need here real quick. I don't think so. So what you do is you just basically YOLO off the cliff here and then do that. Because normally if you fall from that height you would take damage and respawn at the bottom. All right, we got a few minutes left. There's another boss waiting for us at the end of this uh, this little path here, but and we're not quite going to make it there. Um, so I'll go ahead and just start clearing this area out, I guess. First of all, do you have anything useful for me? Mm, those 
this is probably useful. Um, that's probably useful, honestly. Sure. Anyways, we got another one of these fools to take out. Also a dead boy. Okay, let's uh, press onward. So this is actually a pretty decent place to grind for uh, skill points and money. You don't get very much from each of these guys. However, there are a ton of them and they tend to respawn multiple times. So you can run through, kill all these guys pretty quickly. Get all the uh, the goodies from that, and then repeat. More than likely, um, if you are trying to get all the skills, you are going to have to do a little bit of grinding. Uh, at the very least, just continue going to subsequent playthroughs. So having a good uh, grinding spot is not bad. This is not the best one though, there is uh, definitely a better one that we'll get to later. However, I don't plan to be getting all of the skills in this particular playthrough. That would take a very long time. Uh, we're going to skip this dialogue, but he basically talks about how everybody here was forced to drink the water of the palace. and. Uh, that kind of is why they are like they are. We'll learn more about the water of the palace later. It's just lore stuff, basically. I say just lore, but it is kind of interesting. Alright, so there is a very annoying aspect of this area that you can easily mitigate by just paying attention to a couple indicators. So anywhere that you see the uh, little shrines with the rock, so like cherry blossoms and there's like a rock, when you walk near it, those guys will try to grab you. And if they grab you, you're sitting there unable to move for a couple seconds, and all the enemies can smack you while you're doing that. So. Generally a good idea not to get grabbed. And at first glance it doesn't appear that there's any sort of indicator as to where they are. But there is. It's just kind of difficult to see. Especially when you go into like this area. And they tend to be everywhere. And they have quite a lunge. Um, let me take out all these little guys and then I'll, I'll show it. I don't want to get killed while I'm demonstrating it though. See what I mean though? They just sort of keep respawning. Eventually I believe they'll stop. Um, are we good? Nope, not quite yet. Alright, whatever. Go ahead and grab me. So you're there for basically that long, while enemies will just keep hitting you. So, not good. Oh, by the way. Nice. Alright, that's enough of that, I think. Alright, we should just have time to do this last uh, mini-boss. Mm -hmm. 
間の調べに気を取られ深くを取り回したしかと聞こえるきっとこの先にあの女そう All right, well, let's go pay a visit. This is o r i n By the way, she is pretty good waifu material. If we get the camera back here. Yeah, definitely underrated waifu material. Anyways, we're running out of time. Oh, really? それがわからぬのが悲しいのです。会えずともせめて知りたい。なれど頼りを出しても帰ってこぬ。誰も居場所を教えてくれぬ。ねえ、ご人、サクザ様は、いずこです。知らぬあああなたも嘘つき、uh -oh. どうしてみんな隠すのですか All right So o r i n is one of those characters that、uh, has a posture bar that depletes very very quickly So the best way to kill her is actually to stomp on her face When she does the unblockable move there. As you can see, though, she has some very long combos. But if you just do it this way, you should be okay. I remember having quite a bit of trouble on her the first time, though, because I was trying to just, like, deflect. But then she will pretty much block all of your attacks as well. Sometimes you can miss like that too. Probably just me being terrible though, let's be honest. Hurry this up, we only have a couple minutes left. There we go. So, you only get this dialogue if you've been progressing that other dude's quest.、Um, but it's sort of a happy question mark ending for the two of them. So, Kuni Urunoa Shinobi Dono Ka. Oh, Shinobi Dono Niwa Leo Mosaneba. あの女僧者を連れてきてくださったであろうついさっきわしをなでながら調べを聞かせてくれた今までとは違う子守歌のような安らかで温かい調べじゃ奏でながらこう言うてくれたよく来てくれましたねと
Oh, well, that's nice, isn't it? Like I said, happy ending? Maybe not. Regardless, though, that is also going to be the ending of this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed. Next time we'll be starting off... Uh, I'm going to go back and clear this area, and then we've got a boss coming up pretty quick here. So look forward to that. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.